morning. I've just had the delivery. Now, I know what this is. But I'm going to show you guys. Um, so, yeah. So, for all those returning, welcome back. For all, anybody that's new, hi. Um, if you enjoy the videos, please give us a thumbs up. And if you hit that subscribe button, you'll be making little old lady very happy. Trying to build my little, oh, excuse me, flipped on the chair. Trying to build my YouTube just so I can share what I do. Um, I love doing it. I hope you love, love, like doing it. Otherwise, obviously you wouldn't be here. But yeah, so I've got another a delivery. Second one this week, so let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Now, I'm always scared when I open it. Ta -da! As you can see, a little sneaky piece in there. Um, I got this off a D stash site. It's one that I really liked. I wanted it for a while. But as we know, Penny hasn't got many pennies. So I do look on the D stash site. And the lady that I've got this off, Carol, she has packed this amazingly. Now, my daughter's got a thing for bubble wrap, so I am going to try and keep it. The only thing is, I must say, when you get off a buy off a D stash, you don't get the guarantee that, like the lifetime guarantee that you get off from if you buy from Diamond Art Club. But I'm sure it is going to be amazing. And guess what, guys? It's still sealed. It's not even been opened. Let's just throw that on the floor because we're so excited. Da, da, da. Let's slowly go up. And what do we see? It's a butterfly. It is so cute. It's almost like a... Um, I don't want to break the seal. It is like a watercolour. If I show you like so, um, it's but called Butterfly of Paradise. In fact, let me do it this way because then you can see it. It's called Butterfly of Paradise. It's by Yuri Malkoff. I apologise if I've pronounced that totally wrong. Um, it's a square as it has a square diamond there. And it is 84 centimetres by 56 centimetres. But it is cute. Let's have a look. Let's just admire the fact that the box is amazing. We love, I'm not even sure you pick the camera picks up the holographic box. Now, I'm sure everybody's sitting there thinking, why is she getting so excited? I'll tell you why. Because... <coughs> Excuse me. I work on a budget. And I do diamond painting is on a budget. Now, this is my third diamond art kit. Diamond art club kit. Throw that on the floor. And I just feel like... I've, I've started the first one that I got, which was the Sneaky Cat, which I did get from Diamond Dark Club. Now we have a door kit. It is one of the old ones, but still, let's have a look. Pull that down there so I can just hug it. We have got lots of baggies. We have a blue pen with a blue squashy. Squidgy, don't know what these are called, Penguin. We have two pieces of heart wax, a little tray and 
a four placer. So that is the tool kit. So let's put this back in. I know a lot of people are getting excited because of the new ones. I have managed to have the first my sneaky cat had a new one. Um, but yeah, we'll keep that there. Then we've got this the little sticker, which people put it on their boxes or they put it in their log books. I haven't done anything. I am in the process of trying to design my own love book. Look at this. Whoa. Um, I do like doing my bigger canvases. But I just, I'm like a kid in a sweet shop, to be honest. But I do love the opening process. Now, this literally arrived on my door five minutes ago. I've actually paused the washing machine because I couldn't wait to open it. The Diamond Dark Club, do what makes you sparkle, dust cover. And then we have the big. Now these do come with a sticker on so that if you store your jewels separately, and then you get the legend, which has pre-cut stickers, which makes kitting up so easier, so much easier, should I say. Now, this is an AB, and how you know with Diamond Art Club, any number under 150 is an AB. So as you can see, I have three ABs. So that's all good. So we'll put that to the side. Now, let's have a look. Oh, I'm just so excited, guys. I've got it the right way up, yes. This. I don't even think I'm gonna get it all in shot. Got my little instruction booklet. I like to think I know what I'm doing. This is huge, guys. That is really wide. I don't know how I'm going to work on it. But anyway, I don't know. I think what I'm going to have to do, I'll have to put up a separate picture so that you can actually see the true beauty of this. As normal, we have gorgeous, gorgeous symbols or clear symbols, should I say. There's lots of, um, there's a good amount of confetti, which, if you watch me, you know, I love confetti. Love, love, love. Right, and as you can see, no hands, it lays flat, and that's what I love about Diamond Dark Club. You don't have to push it down, peel it back and put it back and all that jazz. Extremely, extremely sticky which I will show you is as you can see it's extremely sticky but just look at all them colours and it's, it's really hard because obviously you've got the glare as well it's really hard to get the full effect of this but as you can see, there's the centre of the butterfly. And then it has all of this, which is, it's almost like a watercolour. And from what I've seen, um, I haven't, like I said, I've not done huge amounts, but Diamond Art Club seem to have an amazing knack for doing really good shading. Oh. The problem I have, guys, the only complaint I have is that I want to do it now. I want to do it right now. So I'm going to put this to the side. Um, and then we're going to have a look at this big, massive pack of colours. See what we've got. Now, 
quickly that way. Look at that. That's a lot. So, let's see where do we start. Oh, and I've seen one. I've already seen one of the ABs. That one's there. Oh, before I forget, 59 colours, guys. 59 colours. Right, we put that there. And let's work. Let's start with this one. Right. We have the gorgeous pink. We have, which is 3607. We have two bags of 3755. We have three bags of the 340, which absolutely love that. It's like a lilac. And then three bags of 3323. We have a 210. 666, which I love. It's like the proper red. <laughs> We have two bags of 814, only one bag of 310s, one bag of 3371. Sorry, I got distracted then. My cat has just decided that he's going to lay down in the middle of the packing that I've just bought. If you could see him right now, he's a nutter. Much of you, is that nice? Got a bag of 3371, 321, and 996. That's that one done. Then we have, let's do the little ones last. Then we have, let's see the number of the We have the 956, and then there's the first AB, which is that gorgeous yellow, which is 130. Then we have 603, 758, 891, 498, 333. Oh, then we have 126, which is the second AB, which is a gorgeous lilac. We have 3837, 208, 606, 600, gorgeous minty colour. 775, 3846, and then we've got the third, fourth, of the, third of the AB, there's only three, which is this blue. Now, ABs are specially coated drills. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, I think that's how you say it. It's takes the look of the northern lights so it just gives that extra shine then we've got 915 917 798 3746 and 3843 and then one more which is the 742 823, which is that really, really deep blue. 3841, you can see the sparkle coming off these. There's two bags of the 3841, and then two bags of the 799. So there's our drills. So, now we know what the drills are. I can't even, I can't even put this out properly. <laughs> I'm nearly right back in my chairs, guys. What I will do is I'll get my daughter to put um, the a, pic, a picture, add a picture into it. Right, so we want number ones, twos and threes. The number ones is the really pale lilac. So let's see where that is. Hopefully I'll be able to find it. Number ones. Now, my eyesight's not particularly good. Where are you? Where are you? Number one. I literally can't find it. Number one, where are you? I'm looking for you. Ah, oh, right. 
the number ones I've just found there seems to be scattered around in the background or here. There's lots of ones here, just, just a scattering, just a few there. It seems like number ones are mainly in the background. Yeah, there's, there's like, if I go to the edge here, there's lots of number ones all here. So it's a lot in the background. There's a few in here. I think that's where it mainly is. There's a few there. Yeah, it seems to be in the background. Number two, which is the yellow. Oh, wow, there's loads. The number two, there's loads all here. Lots here, lots here. So that's all at the bottom part of the wings. In fact, where you can see yellow, that's where there seems to be the, the yellow AB. And then number three, which is the bluey colour, is these lines here. I don't even know if you can see. These lines here are, are blue, are ABs. Then we've got lines going across here, scattered up here. We've got some at the side there. We've got some here. And then it's kind of, oh, there's a load here. And scattered all up in the wing. Lots here. So ABs tend to, like, you don't have a huge block of them. There's a couple here and here. It, ABs kind of just a sprinkling and just makes it pop. Um, I've only ever worked on AB on the tiny little bit of the one that I've done at, the little bit I've done of the, of the Sneaky Cat. But I'm loving this, guys. You know, I've just looked at the camera and it looks amazing it, on the camera. So, yeah. But yeah, looking forward to doing this one. But I am, as we speak, on a mission to finish my whips that I've got going on at the moment. Because I've got two really, really big ones going on. So I'm trying to at least get a bit ahead on them before I kick anything else up. And I have also just received, if you look in the previous unboxing, another um, Diamond Art Club. So it's going to be a toss-up. I think it's down to my daughter. I'll do that one first. But I'm trying to be really good. And I've got a couple where they're kitted up. They've been started. So I want to finish them got a couple of little ones that I'm definitely going to finish before I do anything else so for now now this is still on the site I believe I believe it's 59 pound I may be wrong but yeah this is absolutely gorgeous absolutely stunning now I know on Diamond Art Club at the moment They've got 20% off sites site-wide. So if you want to get one, now's the time to do it because get 20% off. I don't think anybody gets off Diamond Art Club without some form of discounts. There's discounts everywhere. When you buy a canvas, you get um, a discount code at the bottom of the canvas where it will give you 10% off. You get a discount code on the leaflet you get 10% off if you keep your invoice obviously I didn't get an invoice for this one but if you keep your invoice there's a there's about there's a code on there for money off there's a code on the box for money off um, and once you've actually made your first purchase you can join the Facebook Facebook group the VIP group and there's always codes on there. So they don't want you to spend all your money. They want you to have a discount. Yes, they are on the pricey side. 
Um, I'm lucky, as in my children bought me my first one, the second one I won on a raffle, and this one I bought very cheap on a D-Stash site. Um, yeah, but they these are they're licensed. So not only do Diamond Art Club obviously earn their money from you buying from them, but also the the artist earns money. So it's a really, really good way of I'm a crafter and I like the idea that the artists are actually making money out of their creations because why shouldn't they now we've all done it i've i've got diamond i've got diamond paintings that i don't know who the artist is um like i've said before i'm on a budget so it is what it is i'm trying really hard to only get licensed products but i'm not on a budget where i can guarantee that at the moment um and i don't always know i don't know if it's a generic gener generic I think that's the word. I don't know if it's a gen generic. <laughs> I'm not going to say it again. I don't care if it's lies. I don't know if it's a stolen artwork. Um, or not. I may have done diamond paintings already that are stolen. Um, images. But I think when you go to a licensed and you know that that person is getting paid, it just gives you that little. Good feeling that you're helping a, an artist to sort of make become what they need to become. So anyway, that's me enough babbling on. I'm going to go because I actually, I know it's Saturday, but I cheated a bit this week. So I have to work today. I'm making, I'm doing crochet. So I'm doing a crochet shawl, um, a purple one. And then I've got to do a red one that I should have finished yesterday. But I didn't because I did some diamond art and I've been making videos and blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to sign off. I'm going to put the washing machine back on so I can hang that out because it is a little bit windy. It's a glorious day out there. Um, and I may see you later. I'm, I've sort of set myself a goal so that I can, if I get my work done, then I can treat myself to a bit of diamond painting. But for now, if you've liked this video, please give me the thumbs up. Anything you want to ask, anything that you... I may not have the answer, but I will try and find it. Um, give, leave a comment and I'll answer it. I'm doing a whip and chat maybe tomorrow, so I can go for any questions that are already on on my youtube channel so thank you ever so much i hope that you like this as much as i do and if you do head on over to diamond art club and i will speak to you all soon Toodaloo.